Hi guys, it's Dawn with MakeupClasses.com. Welcome, and today is Makeup Tip Monday, number 24. When finishing your makeover, blend all your makeup with a large fluff brush to ensure a natural look. Remember makeup artists, the product plus the tool plus the technique equals a result. So using the proper brushes throughout your makeover really ensure a beautiful end result. Large fluff brushes come in different sizes. So large can mean different things to different people. So as you can see, this is considered a large fluff brush, but it does have a little bit of a different design. It has a pointed front to it. It's a lot longer, so you have less precision when you're working with this brush. This is a wider large fluff brush, and it's very, very dense. And then here you have a super large fluff brush that's really dense, and all of these brushes will deposit a lot of product. Remember, the denser the brush, the more product will be deposited on the face. So my point is, it's really up to you as a makeup artist to decide what is truly a large fluff brush. How big do you want to go when blending your makeup? Of course, a brush like this is great for the entire body where you can push into your makeup on the neck, the decollete area. A brush that's a little smaller but still large is great for overall all over the face. So after you complete your makeover, blending with a large brush is a great technique to ensure a very natural look. Basically what you're doing is you're pushing the layers of makeup into each other and into the skin. So it really comes across like a very natural skin-like effect. You want to take your large brush, start at the top of the face and blend downward. And you're almost like pressing into the makeup. You're using a light pressure as you're blending with your large brush. This technique truly ensures that your makeup is well blended, that you don't have layers of powder that are sitting on top of the skin that are very visible. That's really important for video and photography. You don't want to have a lot of layers of product sitting on top of the skin. You want those products to meld into the skin and look super natural. This is a technique that I use in my daily practice. It truly is a habit. I end my makeover using that large brush and I just blend away and I make sure I ensure that the makeover is looking smooth and as perfect as possible. Well guys, I hope today's Makeup Tip Monday helps with all of your blending techniques. Drop us a line down below. What is your experience when it comes to that final product? What do you do when you wrap up a makeover? What are some techniques or things that you do to ensure that the makeover looks beautiful and natural? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. I'll see you next time at MakeupClasses.com. Bye everyone.